Hi, this is Kathy from Scrappy Counselor Designs again, and I'm here to show you a mannequin, an altered mannequin that I received in a swap for, on Little Scrap of Heaven, and it was called Dress Forms, and our partners got to design whatever they chose to design. On this one, however, um, I did do a little altering after I got it, and I'll kind of show you kind of what I did. And Sus Susie, if you're watching, I do hope you like it, but um, I loved your design on everything, minus the legs on the bottom. <laughs> but everything else, was that you did an awesome job, and I just love it. So here is my dress form that I received and everything that was on here was on here Susie put on except I added a couple of little trinkets that my sister had given me and I had nowhere to put. So I followed her, her lead and she has a thimble and a snap and then a sewing needle. Well this is a little tiny pair of scissors that actually and a button. So um, I still stayed with her theme. I added that and I added this little spool, metal spool and this little iron. And then my sister also sent me this little bling um, brad so I added that to the back and then but I left everything else and then I added to the top of just to make it look a little more finished but not only that is I wanted to tie together the additional changes that I made and the changes that I made this was such a huge dress form I love it I wish they knew where she got it because I would buy another one and have fun with it but when I got it um, it stood on these um, two large spools and they were empty spools so I took off the spools and I added a put a hole through the bottom and I added this yarn um, winder bobbin bob yarn bobbin winder I'm not quite sure what it is but I found it at the antique store and which raised up my dress form tremendously and it looks more proportioned well to do that I added the trim around the bottom to hide the base of the change that I made and then I used her dress her spools added lace to them and then I added buttons to it and and I did that on both of them they both have different lace but I added the buttons but loved the look of this just she did an awesome job thank you Susie and then at the very bottom I added some more of that trim all the way around and then I just added some wild orchid crafts and I am roses um, flowers to it other than that this is what Susie designed for me and I just love it she used an old pattern and she um, decoupaged it to the dress form and I just loved it just just super super job thank you thank you thank you Susie and then on the very top she added some paper flowers um, here at the waistline and then she also added one um, at the neck and I just love all the zippers just very creative and then she added some really cute buttons um, to one of the zippers and then on one she added some antique um, advertisements and some dressmaker tape and some yarn I'm not yarn that's elastic and then with a bobby pin a safety pin oh. and then she added at the top here she added a tag with um, a Grand Hotel check um, coat check loved it love it love it and and then she also in sending in this swap 
she also sent I'm going to do a little wiggling because I have to get up and I'm holding the camera this time. But she also sent me for, because we had to do three different dress forms for the swap. And this was her second thing she sent me. Um, she made this box and it's from the Tim Holtz paper line. She um, cut out a die, a die form um, from Tim Holtz added a button to it and then she added um, a bottle cap with some beads and things and then she added some safety pins on the dressmaker's tape and it it's a ribbon I believe but um, then she added a flower down here with a pretty button and then on the inside this is where she had she made me this card which I think is absolutely adorable love 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 this card and that's what it looks like she did a really good job thanks Susie and then inside this box she filled it with some more dre um, another um, die cut from Tim Holtz out of his paper line added the ribbon with another uh, stick pen which she made herself and then she had another dress form made out of different paper but she round a uh, glittery p um, ribbon around it and placed another stick pin in it so much fun then she added she die cut out the spools of thread added more trim to it and then also used another stick pen very creative and on this spool she used some um, beaded fringe um, but she didn't use a stick pen which is totally understandable because um, the holes in the top of it would not have supported that and then here's another spool with some really pretty purple trim glittery uh, with another stick pin very very fun and then this is where I use the um, stick pin from this particular spool of lace on my book stack so that's where that stick pin is but she had one on there and then another spool she has some uh, beaded trim or bead trim whatever and then she made a bunch of little die cut buttons and added um, baker's twine to them and, you know, all, and she did that out of the paper line lots of fun and then she added to this um, some homemade cards there's like four different ones in here and they say um, sending many thanks and she just made different ones they're really very pretty so I will be using these to send out thank you cards probably for swaps but she did a really super job um, I'd like to thank you for stopping by and watching this film and I'd like to thank um, have you check out Little Scrap of Heaven and their swaps and see how much fun that we have on there and um, I'd like to thank you all for stopping by again and watching and um, give them um, Susie made a video of the original dressmakers form and I will try to link that to this video so you can see what the original looked like anyway have fun crafting good night bye